I am Dr. Moritz Lehmann. I'm both an engineer at Intel and the author of this FluidX 3D computational fluid dynamics software. What you see here is the largest CFD software ever done on a single computer. This is 117 billion grid cells fitting in six terabytes of memory. No GPU server available today has that amount of memory capacity only a CPU server has. And Xeon 6 is great for that because it supports MR DIMMs at 8800 megatransfers a second that is blazing fast speeds for memory. The bandwidth that we get here is 1.7 terabytes a second peak. In the simulation I saw around 1.2 terabytes a second which is amazing efficiency here. So that is the NASA X-59 supersonic aircraft during landing approach at 300 kilometers an hour. How did I get here? During my PhD, I needed a software to simulate raindrop impacts. This is what you see here. There's a raindrop splashing on the water surface and it creates these hundreds of tiny spray droplets. And originally, Fluid X3D was designed to run on GPUs very efficiently. However, GPUs, they have very limited video memory capacity, only a few gigabytes, and for more, you need a CPU server. The throughput on CPU systems was just too slow. The memory bandwidth was not up to the task. Intel Xeon 6 finally changes that, so we can do simulations with runtime around about one day. So this is a Chevrolet C10 from 1961. It's a car that was not yet optimized for aerodynamics at all, which makes it a more interesting simulation because it creates huge drag. This was 4 billion grid cells. The, the throughput of this Xeon 6 system is very fast and with one day you can get such CFD results here. Another very interesting use case, space flight. You might all know SpaceX with the Falcon 9 rocket. This is actually not the Falcon 9, it's from the German Aerospace Center, a model to study how reusable rockets behave. So this is the, the boost of the rocket when it's coming down, slowing down to the atmosphere just before it relights the engines for the landing burn. And there's intricate vortices created around the engine base. Finally, let's show the system in action in real time. So what you see here is a simulation running in real time on the server. That's, so that's a remote SSH connection to the console. And it is actually interactive. So this is rendering in ASCII characters. I can move around the camera here. And here you can see how the server is loaded in H. So this is 512 threads, all loaded at 100% with AVX 512. So the workload is in OpenCL and OpenCL gets compiled with our Intel OpenCL runtime to AVX 512 to make full use of the hardware. Now the big advantage of our Xeon 6 server is that it's very compact. It's a 4U server, so it's a very exciting option to finally be able to run high-resolution computational fluid dynamics on CPU systems. 